there everybody welcome back to us odyssey it's chocolate milk here and today we're going to be doing the backyard which is in the city of goza and becomes available after it's frozen over this place is accessible when you first come here with just jansen and ming but you won't be able to participate until you have a full party now i always choose to do this at the end of the game because it makes things just a whole hell of a lot easier so you can access it by going to the elevator here and choosing backyard all right so here it is and for those of you who are not familiar the backyard is basically like a sporting event for fighting what you do is you come here and you fight enemies and depending on how well you do you get a variety of different prizes and things like that there's no experience but you will still get skill points and this really has nothing to do with storyline or anything and it is 100% completely optional We've got some stuff in our inventory that is going to allow us to take part in every single class that there is. If I can find them here, I'm sure I can find them lying around. So we've got things like the Backyard Weekly, for example, that I think we got from the Legendary Sorcerer in the Temple of Enlightenment. Um, biography of Backyard. Things like this. Something that has the word Backyard and it will allow us to participate in different classes. They're separated into different classes from easiest to hardest. So all you gotta do is talk to this guy when you'd like to start. There's a save point here so you can um, save when you'd like to and over here once you start competing you can talk to this guy here and you can exchange your stars for prizes. And if you lose there's no game over which is the best part. So. Welcome to the backyard. If you want a little spice in your battles, this is the place for you. Hang on, isn't that a key for a magic lock? We have some monsters in a room here, and it's locked with one of those, so they couldn't get out to battle. So, we have three magical lock keys that we've been collecting throughout the game, so we're going to hand all three of those over. Welcome to the super heavy class. The enemies in this class are like nothing you've ever seen before. I'm looking forward to it. And those three magical keys unlock the highest class which is super heavy so we're not going to start on super heavy we're going to start with light and then we're generally going to make our way up into the medium class we're going to make our way up to heavy and then finally super heavy is the last class that is super heavy so to start out with we're going to start with the Kalalon battalion you can see on the left hand side here you've got stars. Uh, stars are the rating that you get in the battle and they act as a point system. On the right hand side you've got the battle information, the name of the battle, the class, and there's a condition. There's a condition with every single battle that you have to meet. So I'm just going to use the, the Kalalon Battalion for example. The only condition is that you have to defeat all the enemies. So you don't you can use on any party members you'd like, any skills, any spells, and everything like that. So I'm just gonna go with this party. And I'm just going to show you what's that what's what that is like. And the thing with every single one of these backyard battles is that there's also a secret condition that will allow you to get three stars. You will only get two stars if you just do the battle according to the conditions that the game tells you. There are going to be secret conditions you have to meet. And I'll walk you through what each one of them is. So with this battle we just have to defeat all enemies to get two stars and finish up the battle. But if we want to get three stars and get a perfect in this battle, we have to let the Kalalons use the skill it's called combination and they have to use it three times or more so I'm just going to defend and this is what combination looks like and they have to use this three times or more so what you're probably gonna want to do and I didn't do this before I started the battle but you probably want to take off counter because the Kalalons might hit you with or they might try to hit you, miss, and then you will counter them and kill one of them. And that's not good because all three of them need to be alive in order for them to use combination. So I'm going to defend here. And thank god she didn't counter. 
that would have been trouble. And they don't always use it, so just keep that in mind too. If you're at a high level, like I am at, what, I'm like at level 80 with all my mortals, you really shouldn't need any help with this battle. It is a super light class, and really should be a piece of cake to defeat. But if you're a lower level, maybe something like all shield would be good. Um, try to keep counter off your characters because they might counter. And ground us spells work wonderfully. That was the third time the Kalalons used combination. So that means I can kill them now and I will get my three stars. Really, really easy. The light class is light, of course. And like I said, you get no experience, you'll still get skill points. And at the end of each battle, all your HP and MP will be restored as well. Well done, congratulations. Here's your prize for winning. Take it. So, this is the prize you get for two stars. You get the backyard for beginners. And if you manage to get the three stars, he'll give you um, an additional reward. Boy, that was one pitched battle. I was getting excited just watching you. Here is a little battle bonus for you. And you're going to get a lot of slot seeds <laughs> from this. But there's also some good stuff, uh, accessories, uh, crafting materials, things like that. So as you can see, we've got three stars on the Kalilon Battalion. And we never have to do that battle again. So now we're going to move on to the second one here, which is the Festival of Magic. As you can see, it's the light class, but there are a buttload of conditions. We've got up to two playable characters. You can only have two people in your party. You have to defeat all the enemies to win. You're not allowed to attack. You're not allowed to use skills, and you are not allowed to use items. So that essentially leaves Kaim and Seth useless unless you would like to leave them in and just put something that will allow them to cast magic. <clears throat> but for this instance, we are allowed to use spells, so I'm going to just go ahead and use Ming and Sarah for this one. And I think we're ready to go. Eh? Alright, so again, two playable characters defeating all the enemies. Attack skills and items not allowed. Spells are allowed. And the secret condition for this battle is that you have to kill all the animals. Animals? Enemies, excuse me, all the enemies with one character only. So pick which one you'd like to do all of the attacking because. You're just going to need to depend heavily on that one character. Now you'll see that there's two teams here. There's two Kalo sisters and two wise men. These, these guys are going to attack each other. So the wise men are going to attack the Kalo sisters and the Kalo sisters are going to attack the wise men. I suggest taking out the wise men first because they have more HP and they're a little bit more vicious than the Kalo sisters are. So I would suggest doing that. And again, since I'm at a higher level, I don't need to do a whole lot of buffing. next instead of double cast. I don't know why I do that. And especially if you have something like double cast to help you along, it will be quite easy for you. Even better. Now I have the status prevention on my character so they can't get hit the status effects. If they got hit with all seal, this battle would have been over because we can only use spells. We can't use anything else. So make sure to have something that protects you against all seal for this battle. 
like I said, if you're at a lower level, it might not be a bad idea to have something like all barricade or shield. And you can then use one caster to heal if you get in some really big trouble. And then one will just be used to attack. So I'm going to kill all these enemies with Ming. And that should allow me to get the 3 star rating on this battle. I can't afford to lose. So there we go. Alright, so our two star prize is five mana bottles. And our three star prize is another slot seed, which is useless. Alright. This will be the last one for this video, because this one can be quite long. This is pure gluttony. And the only condition with this one is to defeat the explosive bug. So again, we can have up to five party members. I'm just going to bring all my immortals. There's really no need to bring five along. I think I'll do just fine with the four. And again, not a whole lot of preparation for this one either. This one's very, very easy. The secret condition for this one is to let each of the explosive bugs eat three of the littler, littler bugs three or more times. So you'll want the explosive bugs A and B to both eat three magic insects each. So I'm basically just going to defend, I guess maybe I'll throw up a little bit of a really weak barrier. I really shouldn't need it. I don't even know why I'm bothering, but it's never a bad idea to be over prepared. And I just need to keep track of how many bugs each of the explosive bugs have eaten. You want to keep the ex the little bugs alive, obviously, so that they can eat them. So explosive bug B one A one. Unfortunately, it'll only want to turn, so this can take quite a while. And the, the explosive bugs in the back can also attack you. They don't always prey on the little bugs, so. Alright, so that's two. Unfortunately, these bugs keep spawning too, which is good. They don't just stop. If you destroy one, one will come back, so. This one was more or less just a matter of, of patience. And if you are at a lower level, I would suggest, of course, having something that's going to protect you against ma magical attacks. Force really isn't bad. It could be Force Yes or Force Yes, so be thankful that's not. And it looks like Explosive Bug A ha has eaten three of them, so I can go ahead and kill A. And B still has one to eat. And each time they eat a bug, they get a little bit stronger. At the beginning they had, what was it, 4,210 HP, and now um, you can see they're a little bit stronger. This guy's got 4,600, and this guy has 4,400. So just keep that in mind as well. If you want to do any kind of buffing on your characters at all, like a pow powerus, or something, if you think you need that, you can do that as well. Again, the light class is more or less designed for when your characters just been just get on disc four, around level forty or so. So I'm way over level at this moment, and the light class is really quite easy. So. That's the guy's third bug in the back there. The explosive bug just finished his third one. So now all we have to do is take care of the explosive bug because we don't have to defeat the, the littler bugs in the front to finish up the battle. The, the condition was only to destroy 
the one in the back, so that makes life easy for us now, doesn't it? Just to make sure it really dies, I'm just gonna go full out with my mages here. Alright, then that should finish this one up. This one really does vary on a number of different variables. So there we go. Could it please I've still got a lot to learn. So our two-star prize for that one is ten power drinks. And our three-star prize is going to be another slot seed. You know it. And that is going to be it for this video. I'm going to save up and we will continue on in the backyard. We're going to finish up the light class in the next video. So thank you all so much for watching.